Well, our North East reporter, Rachel Sweeney, is in Newcastle-upon-Tyne. I don't know where she is right now, but she'll tell us. Hello there, Rachel. Hello there. Yes, I'm in Walker now, a little corner of uh, Tyneside, about 10 minutes from Oosburn, where we were earlier. And the reason that I'm here is to talk about the movie business, because one thing the northeast of England is famous for is the films that are set here. In particular, director Ken Loach likes to set his films here. He likes the, the working class hero vibe that this region has. But how does one get into the films? Well, there's one lady who can answer that question. So let's have a knock and ask. Good morning, Bessie Williams. You are live on GB News. Uh, good morning. <laughs> can we come in? Can, we have yeah. questions. Yeah. Wow, this is spectacular. Oh, look at this mirror. It's like a slice of Hollywood here in Walker. What an incredible house. You can tell that you're a creative, Bessie. Now, people who are watching this who want to get into the movie business, how do they go about that? Um, well, they can join any one for TV. Uh, we are a casting agency and we train and we sort of have a production site now. And basically, our whole sort of vibe is, you know, giving opportunities to people who wouldn't normally have them. Um, I think our creme de la creme was when Ken Lowe came up the last time for Sorry We Missed You. Um, we got the leading lady on that, Debbie, and she went to Cannes and she was rubbing shoulders with Robert De Niro and um, Victoria Beckham was phoning her up to what dress she wanted to wear. If a Spice Girl <laughs> rang me, I just don't know what I would do. Can you imagine? <laughs> so do you think that representation is important? How important is it to hear North East voices on the telly? Um, it's it, it, vital, vitally important. Um, this region suffers a lot with unemployment. It's deprived. We everybody cuts off at Leeds and starts at Scotland. So we have to really try to be resilient and think of other ways how to make money as well. So us as a company can survive. Um, so yeah, we're sort of trying to look because companies come up here, but we don't have the people you know to crew it which is um criminal to be honest so everybody comes up from out the area so we are desperate to try and get some funding to fund that we train people so that people can get trained from the area it's a shame isn't it because there's so much talent here Oh, so much. We want to sort of start our own dramas, really, because honestly, we have so many people on our books that are writers, you know, performers, and there's some good scripts going around. Mm -hmm. But, you know, obviously it's hard to get them out into the, the big world. Is it hard uh, being an actor in a cost of living crisis? Yes. <laughs> I mean, you know, on the television, you see, you see the same people as well. So I think, you know, directors need to start looking elsewhere because, you know, what there's some. Well, Ken Loach is sort of the prime example, isn't he? He sort of looks for raw talent, um, and probably, you know, uh, sort of actors who are seasoned will never work with them, <laughs> which is unfortunate because that's probably the creme de la creme. <laughs> so yes. So much talent here in the northeast of England and so many northeast voices that should be heard on national TV. Luckily, GB News does listen to that.